Another story we're following tonight, controversy at a Placer County Elementary School after students displayed a KKK hood as part of a school project. Something like that is just pushing buttons and it's almost like a slap in the face. The school says it was supposed to show the horrors of racism. Yeah, some parents though say that it should never have been there in the first place. This happened at Newcastle Elementary and Charter School south of Auburn. That's where we find Case Area 3's Orko Mana, and he spoke with a parent who wants some answers. Well, Gustin, we spoke with an eighth grade student and her mother who say they were shocked to see a symbol of hate like a KKK hood inside a classroom here. The school district tells us they agree it was inappropriate, but they want to turn this situation into a teachable moment. I just didn't want it to affect any of the other kids at our school. A disturbing discovery inside a Placer County classroom. This eighth grader at Newcastle Elementary and Charter School taking these pictures of a homemade KKK hood she says was brought to campus by fellow classmates. The student who wants to remain anonymous says it was part of a class project highlighting U.S. history. The Newcastle Elementary School District telling KCRA 3 the three students who brought the hood to school were assigned the Civil War and Reconstruction time period. Period. It just caught me by surprise, I guess, because we are bringing in artifacts for it and students are bringing in things. It just surprised me that it wasn't a picture. The eighth grader says the hood sat on a desk inside her classroom since Wednesday, visible to the students and their teacher. This trigger warning also on display, noting the hood was offensive and clarifying that the students do not support the KKK or its activities. We're told the hood was removed Thursday only after a small group of other students saw it during a presentation. It was kind of unexpected that the teachers didn't really put it away as soon as they saw it. I feel like they could have handled the situation better. The student's mother, who also did not want to be identified agrees. I think that they should have addressed it immediately. She tells me this whole situation is unacceptable. The one item that they brought in was an item that just represented terror and murder and just division. Superintendent Denny Rush tells me what happened was inappropriate, but believes it's a learning lesson for the teacher and the students. They had no bad intentions. They've been talked to, their parents have been talked to. They wanted something that would grab people's attention and call their attention to the fact there were bad things happening in our country. But Rush admits an elementary school was not the right place. We also need to be very careful about how we do that on sensitive subjects. And this is an area where uh, for a few moments we missed that goal. While this student agrees no harm was intended, she says everyone needs to be more thoughtful. I feel like you should still put yourself in other people's shoes because like someone may think that it's offensive. Other parents we spoke to were also appalled by this situation. The school district tells us that they are getting a group of educators together to come up with a plan so something like this does not happen again. Reporting live in Newcastle tonight, Orcomana, KCRA 3 News.